Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Goldie Gamari. I'm the member of provincial parliament for the riding of Carleton here in Ottawa. And uh, it's my great honor to welcome uh, the Honorable Stephen Lecce, Ontario's Minister of Education, uh, as well as uh, Thomas D'Amico, the Director of Education for the Ottawa Catholic District School Board, and Marc Bertrand, who's the Director of Education for the Conseil des Écoles Catholiques du Centre Est. I'd also like to welcome Chair of the Catholic School Parents Association, Aaron Ladouceur, and President of the Paul de Marais School Council, Stéphanie Levesque. And with that, I will now hand it over to Minister Lecce. Welcome, Minister. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, exciting to be with you virtually uh, as we announce some really solid progress for building new schools uh, for families uh, in Ottawa and in Stittsville specifically. And so very uh, exciting and I'm great to be joined by so many partners uh, in education, including uh, Mark, as was noted, the chair of the Ottawa Catholic School Board, uh, recognized Tom uh, D'Amico, the director, uh, Joanne McComb, chair and president of the Conseil de l'Ecole Catholique de Saint-Est, uh, Marc Bertrand, the school's director of education, Aaron from the Catholic Parent Association, and Stephanie Lemesse, the president of the Paul de Marie School Council, all of whom we are grateful for your advocacy and your partnership to get us to this point. Uh, we obviously recognize uh, how important it is that we're building new schools in the province of Ontario, and we've invested heavily uh, with respect to our capital program to really ensure schools are renewed and meet the needs of growing communities, which is so obvious is the case, as Goldie has expressed to me numerous times with explosive growth, we need to make sure our schools keep up with that growth. This round of capital funding the province announced is gonna create more than 19,700 student spaces uh, and more than 3,000 affordable childcare spaces, which is really exciting and really needed uh, in regions across Ontario, particularly in the fast growing uh, community of Ottawa. And I know the growth will require more schools and more childcare, which is why we're here today. I mean, the last time a new school was built in the Ottawa Catholic School Board was 2018. For, um, uh, for our French Catholic partners, it was 2020. I'm proud to say since we took office, uh, the government has approved 15 education related construction projects in the Ottawa area specifically, all part of the broader $14 billion capital investment over 10 years to build new schools, to renovate schools, and obviously to expand childcare spaces within those schools. And we know families across Ontario will benefit from these investments. And I want to take a, an opportunity to share some of these great, the great news specifically for Ottawa and for Stittsville parents. Uh, following a, a great level of advocacy by your MPP, by Goldie Gamari, from the parent associations and councils and the board themselves, we're very pleased that our government will be providing the Ottawa Catholic School Board with $13.2 million to build the Finley Creek uh, Elementary School to help working families in Ottawa uh, and also to provide modern, accessible, well-ventilated spaces for children to learn. I know how important this is to the community. I've heard it. I've met with members of the community and I know Goldie uh, worked very hard. I mean, I've got to tell you folks, um, she's a fighter. Uh, she wanted this done. She believes time is of the essence. The community is growing very fast. And I'm really pleased to see uh, over 507 new elementary spaces that are going to be created, as well as two childcare rooms licensed for 39 childcare spaces. That's going to make a difference to help create accessible spaces for families to drop off their kids while they're also dropping off their children in their schools. Now, I'm also pleased to tell you about another investment we're making. Uh, in support of the Conseil Scolaire de, de District Catholique du Santis de l'Ontario, uh, henceforth known as CECCE. Uh, proud to confirm on behalf of Goldie and our government, the government will be providing $12 million to the board to help improve the Ecole Secondaire Catholique Paul de Marais in Stittsville. This investment will support hardworking families by adding 389 new secondary student spaces it's all part of our broader investments to make sure our schools reflect the needs of our communities. And we remain strongly committed to investing in our schools uh, to ensure children are able to learn in modern uh, spaces that have a focus on STEM learning. The new projects are in direct response to the needs of Ottawa and Stittsville families. We hear you, we know there is more to do. Uh, we're obviously aware uh, 
after many years of closures in rural and suburban parts of Ontario that we need as a government to build new schools and renew the facilities your children learn in that are safe, that are high quality and modern. And to protect students and their families, one of the first priorities our government made was to make sure that all schools, existing schools, and those of course going forward have the have really high quality ventilation, over $600 million invested. For the Ottawa Catholic School Board, we provided over $50 million specifically in ventilation funding to ensure a safer return this September. Um, and the board have approximately 900 standalone HEPA units in place. Similarly, we did the same for the Conseil Secondaire Scolaire de District Catholique de Saint-Dist de l'Ontario, with over $10 million of funding provided to improve ventilation, and over 1,200 standalone HEPA units are in place in that board as we speak. These are making a difference in keeping our schools safe and keeping them open during this unprecedented challenge and the ongoing reality of the pandemic. And I know for families, I just want to recognize parents, it's been tough uh, through this pandemic, we know that one of the big priorities for us uh, was to make sure we were providing direct financial support and literally uh, over a billion dollars of monies of direct financial support being provided to parents in Ontario, really with the aim of trying to reduce the challenges you face, particularly financially through the hardship of the pandemic. That included the, uh, the doubling of the payments for children, uh, the $400 payment, $500 for children's special education. We've done that multiple times and we're now at over $1.7 billion in financial support. So we're gonna to continue to invest. We're gonna to continue to make this a priority. I wanna just recognize uh, the incredible advocacy of Goldie and thank her for her ongoing work. I know there is more work to do for the record. Uh, this is an explosive growth in your community. I just want you and your government is very much committed to continuing to invest and make this community a priority. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Goldie, this brings you up to seven uh, school projects approved, unprecedented investment, uh, probably nearing over 80 to 90, perhaps as much as $100 million of investment in one community, one riding. That's impressive. By any measurement, it probably is the top 98th percentile of investments in any community. So we're going to keep going. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Goldie, uh, and thank you and your community for the strong work and advocacy you've done. Well, thank you, Minister Lecce, for joining us for this announcement. This is this is absolutely incredible news. Um, it's much needed in, in the community. And I'm just very grateful for, for uh, everything that you have done to support uh, both Finley Creek and Riverside South and Stittsville. Um, and <clears throat> I'm not sure how I've, how I've been able to, to do it, but uh, being able to build uh, secure funding to help build uh, seven new schools in three years, um, it's it's very important to me and i'm just really grateful that i've been able uh to be so successful um and to be able to rely on our government to to get the funding um to support these very important projects um you know this is excellent news for the rapidly growing community of finley creek you know quality and accessible public education is is very important to me um, as someone who is a product of ontario's public education system I believe giving students the opportunity to learn in a modern and more importantly, a local environment helps prepare them for future success. And so this new Catholic elementary school in Finley Creek uh, is not going to just add much needed childcare spaces, but it's also the first elementary school in Finley Creek. And I'm hoping that this will help alleviate some of the pressures um, both in uh, at Vimy Ridge and also in the surrounding uh, surrounding Catholic schools as well. And uh, with respect to Stittsville, the uh, nouvelle ajout de 380 000 places pour les élèves à l'école secondaire Paul, uh, catholique Paul des Marais est une excellente nouvelle pour la communauté grandissante de Stittsville. Je crois que tout le monde devrait avoir la possibilité d'apprendre en français. Cet investissement de 12 millions de dollars est essentiel au soutien de la population francophone uh, croissante de Stittsville et contribuera grandement à l'ajout des places des élèves francophones qui ont bien besoin. Merci à tous ceux et en particulier aux parents de Stittsville qui ont signé ma pétition en faveur de la création des places supplémentaires à l'école secondaire Paul des Marais. And thank you very much to the parents of Finley Creek and everyone in the community 
who signed my petition uh, that was available online in support of building the first Catholic elementary school in Finley Creek. And with that, I would now like to introduce uh, Thomas D'Amico, chair of the Ottawa Catholic District School Board to say a few words. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lecce and MPP Gamari. Uh, over the last seven years, Trustee Spencer Warren, along with our chair of our board, Mark Mullen, and our vice chair, Jeremy Whittett, and all of the Ottawa Catholic School Board trustees have voiced the need to build a Catholic school in Finley Creek. In addition to the staff at the Ministry of Education and MPP Kamari, I'd like to thank City Councilor Carol Ann Meehan for her support and advocacy for building a new state-of-the-art facility in Finley Creek. We're fortunate to have wonderful parents like Roxanne Marlborough and Erin Latticer leading the Catholic School Parent Association and our Parent Involvement Committee advocating for the best possible learning conditions for children right across Ottawa. As volunteers, they tirelessly bring the voice of parents to our board. Today's announcement will soon end the practice of busing Catholic students from Finley Creek area out of their community, something that has been happening for the last 15 years. The ministry's $13.2 million investment will allow our planning and facilities department staff under the direction of Superintendent Miro Valla to continue the design of modern facilities that are conducive to deep learning in the Ottawa Catholic School Board and provide a well-rounded Catholic education to our students. So on behalf of our chair, Mark Mullen, our staff, parents, and students of the Ottawa Catholic School Board, we thank the Honourable Minister Stephen Lecce and MPP Goldie Gamari for this investment in Catholic education. Thank you on behalf of our entire school community. Thank you very much, Thomas. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Chair of the, um, uh, uh, sorry, Director of Education for Conseil des Écoles Catholiques du Centre Est, uh, Mr. Marc Bertrand. Thank you, Honorable Mr. Minister Lecce, uh, MPP Gamari for the writing of Carlton, Joanne Lacombe, President du Conseil des Écoles Catholiques du Centre Est, Jolene Savoie, Conseillère Scolaire du Secteur Stittsville, Madame Lévesque, Présidente du Conseil d'École. Um, Chair Mullen, uh, Director D'Amico, chers collègues et parents, et représentantes et représentants des médias. Je suis très heureux de vous adresser quelques mots, alors que nous soulignons aujourd'hui l'octroi d'un financement qui permettra l'agrandissement de l'école secondaire catholique Paul Desmarais. Cette nouvelle est attendue depuis plusieurs mois par cette communauté scolaire en pleine croissance et a été revendiquée par la table politique ainsi que l'administration du CECCA depuis quelques années. It is important and indeed crucial to recognize the need for expansion and new school construction in areas such as Stittsville, where we have seen a growing Francophone population. I would like to thank Minister Lecce for funding that will allow the CECCE to move forward with its expansion project to add 18 new classrooms. I would also like to thank MPP Goldie Gamari for her proactivity and continued support for this important capital project at the CECCE. The petition launched uh, by your office in October certainly demonstrated the importance that the public places on the implementation of this construction project. Depuis son ouverture, il y a trois ans, pas moins de 375 élèves se sont ajoutés à cette communauté scolaire, ce qui, comme vous pouvez en douter, a entraîné des défis en termes d'espace. L'école compte actuellement 22 classes mobiles. L'agrandissement permettra donc d'offrir des installations adaptées aux besoins des élèves et de réduire par le fait même le nombre de classes mobiles extérieures. L'école secondaire catholique Paul Desmarais est une réelle source de fierté pour le CECCE et pour les familles du secteur. Je suis donc très heureux et reconnaissant de voir que le ministère de l'Éducation reconnaît l'importance du rôle de cette école au sein de la communauté francophone de Stittsville. Merci à toutes celles et ceux qui sont présents aujourd'hui pour célébrer cette annonce. Je souhaite longue vie à cette belle école en pleine expansion et à la communauté francophone effervescente du secteur. Thank you once again, Minister Lecce and MPP Gamari for your support. Thank you very much, merci beaucoup, Monsieur Bertrand. I'd now like to uh, invite Erin Ladousseur, Chair of the Catholic School Parents Association, to say a few words. Thank you very much, uh, MPP Gamari. Um, my name is Erin Latticer, and uh, I am the current chair of the Catholic School Parents Association, and I'm here representing uh, CISPA and um, our PIC committee as well, Parent Involvement Committee, and our chair, Roxanne Marble. Um, 
We want to thank our OCSB school board trustees, our director of education, our superintendents of planning and facilities and finance for all their work in developing and presenting a convincing business case for a new Catholic school in Finley Creek. Thank you to Minister of Education Leche and local MPP Gamari for listening to our parents and our students who believe in Catholic schools and their neighborhoods. It is encouraging to know our local concerns can be heard and addressed at the highest levels of the provincial government. I know this school will become a learning hub of activity in Finley Creek. On behalf of all of our Catholic school families, we thank you. Thank you very much, Erin. And I'd now like to introduce uh, President of the Paul de Marais School Council, Stéphanie Levesque, to say a few words. Um, thank you. Hi, everyone. Je m'adresse aujourd'hui à vous en tant que président du Conseil des parents de l'école secondaire Paul Catholique, uh, Catholique Paul Desmarais, mais aussi en tant que maman de trois enfants, une qui a gradué il y a quelques, quelques années et deux qui sont encore en 11e et en 12e année. Et je vous assure que nous, les parents, nous nous réjouissons de cette bonne nouvelle qui est attendue depuis bien longtemps. Paul Desmarais est une école qui est relativement jeune, mais qui a connu son lot de défis. Lors de la première année, par exemple, les élèves ont pu intégrer l'école seulement au, à la mi-année, au cours du deuxième semestre. Et depuis plus de trois ans maintenant, la croissance rapide de l'effectif scolaire a fait en sorte que les élèves et le personnel scolaire devaient conjuguer avec des classes portatives à l'extérieur. Je les félicite d'ailleurs de leur patience et de leur capacité d'adaptation pendant cette période. Qui dit portative dit beaucoup de défis, des déplacements qui sont difficiles pendant l'hiver, dit du bruit, à moins d'espace aussi à, pour jouer à l'extérieur. Et la pandémie a également exacerbé toutes ces conditions qui sont très difficiles. En bref, aujourd'hui, c'est l'heure de se réjouir. Les élèves pourront bientôt sortir des portatives et profiter d'un environnement extérieur scolaire qui est à la hauteur de leurs attentes et ils pourront pleinement profiter des merveilleux programmes de Paul Desmarais. Le conseil d'école des parents suit ce dossier d'agrandissement de près et ce depuis bien longtemps. Alors je tiens à remercier aujourd'hui le ministre, le ministre de l'Éducation, M. Lecce, et aussi le CECCE pour toutes les démarches qui ont été entreprises auprès du ministère afin de s'assurer que ce projet d'agrandissement soit considéré comme prioritaire. La communauté de parents et d'élèves de cette belle école est vraiment gâtée. J'ai bien hâte de voir la première pelletée de terre de ce projet d'agrandissement qui est attendu depuis bien, bien longtemps. Thank you so much to everyone. Merci beaucoup. Um, so once again, thank you everyone for joining us today. And thank you to uh, Thomas D'Amico and Mark Bertrand uh, for uh, reaching out to me. And, uh, you know, we have uh, very frequent meetings to talk about uh, various initiatives and you know it's it's I'm glad that we have that open line of communication um, so we can uh, talk uh, about about these initiatives and others. I also want to give a special thank you to Minister Lecce for taking the time to join us today for this really important announcement. Um, you know making time for uh, communities like Stittsville and Finley Creek Minister um, it's you know we're all very appreciative of it you know you you are basically responsible for an entire province. And um, I'm just very grateful that you, uh, you, you, you took the time to be with us today for these very, very important announcements, um, especially since I think you're the minister I probably uh, hassle the most uh, in Queens Park in the legislature and also over the phone. I'm constantly um, messaging you and texting you because you know the reality is Finley Creek and, and Stittsville and the entire Ottawa area, it's just, it's a rapidly growing community. And even now, I mean, houses are still being built and it's just so great to see um, not only so many schools being built, but the fact that, uh, you know, in our economic outlook, um, not only did we uh, overspend by uh, 1 billion uh, on education, but uh, there was an additional 200 million that was spent as well. So uh, it's great to see us as a province investing in local communities. And I think this is excellent news for 
people of Sitzville and Finley Creek. And yeah, so just, you know, thank you very much for that. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you. Um, I really appreciate uh, that feedback. I want to say, you know, it, it's very easy for governments to, to cut checks, uh, but it's difficult for, for communities to come together to advocate for the needs of children. And I find, as was heard, mentioned earlier by some of the parents, not always government decision makers, you know, hear those voices. And I think you, um, you really are, are the gold standard of community leadership and advocacy. And I think uh, this wouldn't happen if not for your collective advocacy and the good work of your member. So congratulations on these. I, I know we'll be back next year because how could I announce a capital round without investing in Ottawa and Stittsville families? But um, but anyway, we'll turn it up maybe to the media for some questions and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. So if anyone has any questions, please feel free to, to raise your hand or, or um, then I can get you uh, going here. Charlie, you wanna go ahead? Hi there, Charlie Sinek here from the Barhaven Independent and Manitic Messenger newspapers. My question is uh, for Goldie Gamari, but also uh, Minister Lecce, you might want to chime in here a little bit as well. Um, obviously, this funding announcement for Findlay Creek is, is essential. Uh, we've seen how overcrowded the schools and the community has been. Uh, just this week, we saw a report uh, about Vimy Ridge uh, Public School, which states that they're so overcrowded, students from grades seven and eight might need to move to another school in the community within the coming years. Um, that school is also overcrowded. So I'm wondering if there's any um, thoughts going into also opening up a, a public school within the community. Um, it's something the Ottawa Carleton District School Board has been calling for for multiple years now, and it's been on their capital a priority list for a number of years now as well. So I was wondering um, if any thoughts have went into that. Thank you, Charlie, for the question. Before I pass it to the minister, um, so I frequently meet with um, all the school boards just so I can uh, be updated on, on what initiatives are happening, what their capital priorities are. And uh, when I met with the uh, Ottawa uh, Carleton District School Board back in July uh, to talk about their initiatives, they did speak about their capital priorities and Finley Creek was number four on the list that they provided to me at the time. Um, and we did speak about overcrowding and at that point, um, they did not seem to think that it would be um, an issue. So with the, the recent news that came out a few days ago, uh, it caught everyone by surprise, um, including myself, especially since um, Finley Creek has not been at the top of their list. So my mess, and um, I know that there is a board meeting happening uh, on the 7th, which I will be attending. Um, and I have been in communication uh, with parents and I've, I've let them know that I will be uh, viewing, uh, uh, attending that meeting. Um, but I will also be uh, organizing a town hall meeting afterwards for parents to see what we can do. Um, but having said that, the first step is for the school board to make it their top capital priority. Um, if it's not their top capital priority, uh, that makes it a little difficult uh, to move forward. Um, so that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is uh, obviously, uh, you know, the overcrowding um, is, is problematic. And uh, I can, you can rest assured that uh, I have spoken with Minister Lecce about this several times and, um, and he is aware of the situation. And uh, Minister, if you'd like to add anything to that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm aware that the school was opened uh, a few years ago uh, over capacity. And there's, I think, 17 portables, I believe I read in some of the local media a few days ago. And I appreciate why parents are concerned and rightfully frustrated. I mean, you just want your child to go to school within a school and you want them to be safe and local, which is why today we're announcing an investment in a brand new school for uh, Finley Creek and a, an expansion of an existing school. This will be seven now, seven new schools, uh, either entirely new, which the majority are, or major expansions. And I just want families in, in the community, we're talking about Vimy Ridge Public School specifically. Yeah. Um, so yes, Goldie's definitely briefed me on that particular incident, that particular school. What I can just say to families is so far in two years, uh, we're seven schools approved to date. We know there's more work to do. We know that fast growing communities, including I believe uh, it was noted in one of the reports that there was uh, historic uh, 
uh, housing uh, being built uh, just in 2020. I think I read 680 net new homes were added in that community in a singular year. So I appreciate the problem and I'm going to work with Goldie on a solution. Um, and of course, the higher priority it is placed on the board's uh, top 10 list to the ministry, it definitely uh, elevates the um, importance to the ministry when we review these things. Because as you can appreciate, folks, there's billions of dollars of requests every year. And we allocate just over half a billion to build schools in Ontario. So we'll continue to work with the community and under the leadership of your MPP, uh, Goldie Gamari, to find solutions that help keep your kids close to home in a modern school. Uh, if you have a follow-up, Charlie, you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, so just for a quick follow-up, I'm just wondering with this new uh, Catholic elementary school opening within the Findlay Creek neighborhood, is that expected to maybe take uh, some of those students who would have otherwise maybe went to Findlay Creek or, or Steve McLean or one of the other schools in the neighborhood? It may be a question that I mean, Goldie you may have or the board may have a perspective on that. Yeah, I think I think maybe the board, um, uh, someone from the Thomas, do you have any? Yes, I'd, I'd be happy to answer the, the question. Um, right at this point, we don't know how many Catholic students have selected to attend the public school, elementary school in their community. Uh, we do know that there's what 370 that are being bused to other communities. So I do anticipate that a new Catholic school would alleviate some of that pressure uh, in the immediate needs for the for the uh, community. Yeah, I mean it's not an insignificant school. I mean, we're talking about uh, 507 spaces, so it, it, it should, but if it doesn't, I assure you all work with your member and the community uh, as we look forward to bring forth solutions that provide quality uh, educational options for families in both English and French and Catholic and public uh, respecting our, our uh, uh, respecting the choice parents will make. That's great. Frederick, if you want to uh, go ahead. Uh, yes, well, I was wondering if um, MPP Gumari, are you comfortable in giving an answer in en français? This is for Radio Canada. Uh, I, so I can understand perfectly. Je suis allé à l'école d'immigration, alors je vais, je vais, I will try my best to respond okay. to French. Okay, parfait. Uh, I, I just wanted to know, I'll ask you the question in, in English. Uh, I just wanted to, know, to have your opinion on how were you able to choose this school and why not a new school, you know, instead of, of making this one bigger we see that there's a lot of need and the community is growing so why did we choose to make this one bigger instead of building a new one um i'll, I'll try to answer in french as much as i can so la decision pour uh, uh, l'expansion de l'école est une décision du um, uh, le conseil uh, catholique um so basically um when we met they provided me with with their top priorities and and Paul de Marais was uh, one of the top priorities, and c'est pour cette raison uh, que je suis. Um, uh, I was advocating for uh, for Paul de Marais expansion uh, because that was at the top uh, of, of their capital priorities list. Um, I don't know if, if you want to follow up with Mark on that. Uh, well, I would. I would. Yes, absolutely. J'aimerais poser poser une question, uh, Monsieur Bertrand, sur le pour avoir uh, la, la la vision du conseil scolaire. Dites-moi, euh, parlez-moi des besoins. Là, je suis allé tourner des images dans le secteur. Il y a 22 portatives dans la cour arrière. C'est beaucoup de portatives. Il y a beaucoup d'élèves qui s'y déplacent, qui doivent rentrer et sortir même l'hiver. C'est difficile. Et on voit que le secteur est en expansion. Plusieurs projets résidentiels et de construction. Alors, parlez-moi de l'importance de ce, cet investissement. Bien, pour euh, l'école Paul Desmarais et sa communauté, c'est de grande importance puisque justement, euh, ça va améliorer l'expérience d'apprentissage des élèves alors qu'ils pourront euh, suivre plus de plusieurs cours à l'intérieur du bâtiment principal plutôt que justement avoir à se servir de classe mobile. Euh, donc, c'est vraiment de, de grande importance. Euh, et pour nous, un agrandissement de 18 salles de classe viendra certainement alléger cette pression. Euh, il demeurera qu'il restera quelques salles de classe mobiles, mais en même temps, euh, le CECC, dans son plan capital aussi, là, vise euh, d'autres projets, euh, évidemment, là, qui sont présentés annuellement au ministère de l'Éducation et donc souhaite pour euh, une prochaine fois, une prochaine ronde, qu'une autre école secondaire dans le secteur pourrait être allouée. Merci. Um, 
anyone else has any questions or we can uh, we can wrap there, Frederick, you, you got your follow up. Okay. Doesn't seem like any other media has questions. So I think we are okay. Thank you everyone. And, and thank you minister for joining us today for this very exciting announcement. Uh, I'm thrilled and can't wait to get some shovels in the ground. <laughs>